Continuing coverage of a Knoxville teenager who was arrested for bringing a gun to school. Officers say 18 year old Aiden Eldridge brought a weapon to a football game at Christian Academy of Knoxville on Friday. Knox County deputies say a tip led them to believe Eldridge was going to the school to confront a former teacher. A responding officer reports finding an assault rifle in the front floorboard of the teen's vehicle. Eldridge charged with carrying a weapon on school property. Well, that arrest is opening up questions about school safety during and after school activities. Ten News reporter Jacinta Render shares how one East Tennessee County is making school security its number one priority no matter the time of day. Jacinta. John Robin, I checked in with Anderson County today and I learned they've made some changes this year to keep kids safe. They have a new program that allows officers to work more events and after school activities. Well, I mean, secure, school security is, is my number one responsibility. Greg Dill, the director of school security for Anderson County, believes keeping kids safe, whether it's during school hours or after school activities, involve communication. Developing that type of culture with our kids so that they're willing to come to adults and express their concerns about things that are going on. And working with the Anderson County Sheriff's Office, making sure there are enough officers at all events, including big football games. Most of our football games, we average between seven and nine officers. And if it's a big event, um, like a rivalry game, it could go as high as 12 or more. Brian Galloway, Chief Deputy at the Anderson County Sheriff's Department, says security has improved this year. And we were able to come up with a plan this year that we could allow more officers to attend work in these events that saves each individual school money. A new program allows officers to work comp time and helps the school district save money. Where um, the SROs would work a contract similar to our assistant principals, a 220 day contract and that they would work after hours, games, um, band concerts, different activities, and they would earn comp time. But Dill says there is always work to do to make sure school security gets better. I kind of like to think that our school security is a process that we're constantly looking at and trying to look at best practices. Both of the men I spoke to say it also helps if the community gets involved and speaks up about any suspicious activities. If you see something, say something. John Robin. Absolutely. All right. Just send a thank you.